Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Tron and Justin Sun and Hero or Zero Coin. But first, let me remind you, if you want to join me on my live streams, I do a live stream every day. Um, the link will be in the description as well as in the comments. It's called the Good Free Photo Channel. That is my backup stream channel. Also, check out Crypto Daily Updates, and that is all the today's great crypto news in one video. So check that out as well. So let's get on to Tron. Is it a hero or a zero? Now, many people don't trust Justin Sun. A lot of people like to stake Tron, but a lot of people don't trust their CEO. And I've heard, including myself, uh, a lot of negative stuff about the CEO, and that's very justified. Um, but however, we can't overlook the accomplishments. So let's look over the good and the bad. First of all, let's look at the bad. You have the CEO, Justin Sun, that paid $4 million for a Warren Buffett lunch. Didn't really get much accomplished there. He gave Warren Buffett some crypto. Warren Buffett said he just donated to charity, and he still calls it rat poison. So that was not very successful. The $4 million was probably like just erroneously spent. And probably not a good decision. Probably just something that Justin Sun wanted to do, and he spent $4 million for it. Definitely not. He also said in the past, at uh, when he was speaking at some kind of Chinese conference, he actually said it in Chinese, so many of you may have not understood, he actually said he was the CEO of Ripple. Obviously, he was not the CEO of Ripple because, you know, Brad Garlinghouse is the CEO of Ripple, and before that, Chris Larson was. He was just an intern that actually worked there. So he exaggerated his role a lot. You know, I had an internship at the University of Illinois, but that's like me saying I'm the chancellor of the University of Illinois, which I was obviously not at that time. So he does make a lot of stuff up. And one of the big things he's actually hit on is the thing that he said he had a partnership with Baidu when he actually just rented some servers from Baidu. I rented servers from Microsoft before, but that doesn't mean I have a partnership with Microsoft. He said many erroneous things like that before, and that destroys his credibility. He also got drunk once and called Tron a shitcoin, and he said, buy my shitcoin. That obviously does not play well with investors or anyone else. But despite all those things, we have to look at what Tron's actually accomplished, and they've accomplished a lot. They are on their own mainnet. They did actually launch their mainnet in time. You know, like a lot of you like Charles Hutchinson, but really we've been promised the Cardano mainnet since like 2018, and now it's 2020. And hopefully, I think it will come this year, but hasn't he hasn't really delivered yet? Justin Sun, he hasn't obviously delivered on everything, but he actually has delivered on some things. He said there would, you know, he bought BitTorrent. He said there would be an acquisition, big acquisition two years ago. Bam, there was a big acquisition two years ago. He said he might buy another like social media platform. He bought DLive. The whole Steam debacle is crap, but he actually bought Steam as well. And he also bought Polynex. So he's made several acquisitions. He's actually integrated BTT into the TRX network and he's integrating DLive and um, Steam into the BTT ecosystem as well. So these things are actually being done. Now, there are accusations from one of uh, BitTorrent's former developers that Tron is run on a centralized server and he's just faking it until he's making it. Um, I think Tron does have several validators and people who vote for those validators can actually vouch for that. So they have a pretty good staking program. And a lot of people support Tron because of that staking program. Also, yes, most of their apps are gambling, but they actually process quite a bit of money on those apps. So you can't just completely write that off. That will run into regulatory problems like they have with Japan. But, you know, like they still process a lot of money through those apps. And there's actually use for the Tron ecosystem right now. You know, for a lot of other ecosystems, there's basically no use right now. There is actual pe actually people using it. It's consistently one of the highest uh, transactions per second at Blocktivity. Now, I don't really believe EOS because the 42 million, I'm, I believe it's just spam. But Tron's actually varies a lot. So it is actually from day to day. And I do think those transactions, based on how many people tell me they use the Tron ecosystem, I think those are actually real. I mean, they're nowhere close to 40 uh, to 42 million that EOS has every day, but I'm pretty sure those are fake. And EOS is like incredibly consistent each day. It doesn't really vary by day, where Tron's actually varies by day. And that just signals, you know, some days there's more, some days there's less. And I know a lot of people that actually do use those decentralized apps. So that's really not like fake transactions. Those are actually real. And those numbers are actually believable, whereas EOS's numbers really aren't believable on blocktivity. So you have to like take all those things into account. I would say like Justin Sun, he's actually delivered on 50% or more of his actual promises. It's just that like the other 40% or so are so stupid and erroneous that it completely destroys his reputation. And a lot of people definitely have, with good reason, uh, problems investing in uh, coins 
where they don't trust the CEO. I mean, you wouldn't invest in a company where you don't trust the CEO, right? Like if Elon Musk was say John McAfee, you might not be so interested in investing in Tesla at all. But the thing is, like, tr I think Justin Sun's like uh, thing is actually <clears throat> is actually fake it until you make it. But the thing is, like, with the stuff that he's actually bought and with the integrations he's actually doing, he might be able to fake it long enough to where he makes it. And if that's the case, Tron is actually very undervalued. Um, as a mainnet, TRX has a supply of 99 billion, which is very close to where VET and uh, XRP is. And if it becomes a popular mainnet, it can be significantly more than 20 million. And plus, all the voting and staking at Tron can actually make you significant income. So that's why I actually think Tron is an okay project. I personally am not investing in it. I have 1500 Tron because someone gave me like 1500 Tron. Um, but I'm personally not invested in it, but it's honestly not too bad of an investment because like, it's kind of like a 50-50 thing. Like, do you not like Justin Sun enough to basically completely ignore uh, what Tron has done entirely? Because the whole debacle with Steam was just a shit show, basically. Or do you actually look that he's actually, that Tron has actually acquired a lot of assets, including Polynex, including BitTorrent, including DLive, and whatever is left of Steam, um, that you actually have to say, hey, there's something there. It's only a penny, or do you buy? So I'm kind of on the split decision. I'm on the side where I think there's better um, there's better projects to buy, like VET, like BAT, uh, like HBARS, like KNC. But if you're just judging on a pure pers uh, investment perspective, the things that Tron has, act like taking out of all out all of the CEO's own personal antics. I mean, if you actually look at the things that Tron has done, has integrated and the assets they've bought, you would actually say it's a fairly good investment. So like on the hero to zero scale, I would say they're like 60% hero and 40% zero. And that's where I'm at right now. So let me know if you agree with me, like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.